Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much for being here for today's look. If you know by the title, I am doing a Cinderella Halloween look. I thought this was like the easiest, cutest, funnest look to do. Um, I feel like Cinderella, like I mentioned in the video, is like a favorite princess. Um, she was never my favorite. I like Ariel and Jasmine, but I think this look is super easy to achieve for Halloween, even though I don't really know if there's gonna be Halloween parties or trick or treating or anything, but I wanted to be in the Halloween spirit. So I thought I would show you guys this look. Super simple, I got this dress off Sheen I and mean, I got the choker and the headband from Amazon and then you just do your makeup. It's literally that easy. You can throw on some black heels. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna see how I got this Cinderella look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I just have my hair like completely wild because I just, I, this is fresh hair. I washed it last night and I put it in braids. That is a little trick to get your hair to grow. Um, before I cut my hair like last year, I think, or maybe it was like a year and a half, um, my hair was super long. It was down to my butt, um, or at least all the way down my back. And I chopped it to like here and it's been growing pretty good. Honestly, I probably cut it even shorter and that's just a trick i mean yeah you need to take care of your hair use really good hair products but i think um just having your hair in a braid really helps and then you get these like pretty curls but anyways that's not what this video is about like i said in the intro we're gonna do cinderella i'm so excited okay so first primer doesn't matter like basically i don't think like your face like really matters that much like you just want like natural you don't want to be like super super like out of control like cakey at least you know you can do what you want like whatever you think modern cinderella is or what you think cinderella is like you can totally do that but for me i just feel like doing like a natural is Cinderella so I want to do modern but I also don't want to like stray too far away from Cinderella and what I feel like Cinderella is. Cinderella wasn't really my favorite princess growing up. I think Ariel was my favorite. Ariel and Jasmine. Ariel for sure was my favorite or Little Mermaid was my favorite movie and then I just like over the years growing up like I was Jasmine one year for Halloween and stuff so yeah, but I just feel like Cinderella is very, like, the popular one, if you will. Like, so I was just like, I think it would be really fun to do it. I think it's super easy and, like, achievable, like, on a budget. So that's why I chose that. So for foundation, I'm going to be using The Ordinary. And I'm going to take a hint of Light Beige from the Too Faced Born This Way, honestly. And I always pump it on the back of my hand. You guys know this. I'm really sorry about my last video. I still don't know if I'm gonna refilm it. I have like other ideas in mind like after Halloween stuff's over. So I don't know if I'm gonna refilm it. I might just do like a reel or like a IG video on my feed just so you guys can like see it. It's super easy um, depending how like detailed you want the spider to be and all that. And I've been talking about this a lot on my IGTV because obviously I haven't really been on YouTube, but I've just been loving a brush. I feel like a brush just makes everything so much faster. And when you're a mom and, or you just have a life or you're in school or whatever the case is, because I've been there, this is just like the way to go in my opinion. Like a brush is just so dang fast. And when I say natural, like you don't, like I never, like when I think of natural, yeah, you kind of think of like, um, what's the word? Like you think of like not a lot of makeup, but I don't necessarily think that where you think like not that full coverage. I always go in with a full coverage. Like I never am like, oh yeah, let me try light coverage conceal or foundation. Like, no, I need the full coverage always. Like, but that doesn't mean you can't make it look natural and not so like cakey if you will i love the ordinary because it's so lightweight that when you do put it with another foundation you you can't even tell like you can't it doesn't look extra cakey it just gives your skin color at least for me because i got two orange which i talked a lot about on my story on instagram everything's linked down below if you guys want to follow me um so it, it has this orange color to it and it just like gives me color like i don't know I really enjoy it, but not like too orangey. Like, you know, it, it. I feel like it matches me pretty good. I feel like the light beige is just a little bit too like dull for me. So, okay. 
Okay, and then next I'm taking a little bit of e.l.f. and then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the Wet n Wild. Um, I feel like lately with concealer, I've been feeling like less is more. Um, but of course, do what you want. I don't know why I'm taking both. I just feel like both. And I'm just gonna take a sponge Again, like I haven't even been um, wetting my sponge and I feel like my makeup has been perfectly fine. I haven't like hated it. I haven't like, it's just been perfect. So I don't know why we wet it. I do feel like, yeah, it's like softer on the skin, um, but I feel like my makeup comes out the same. Okay, and then once all that is blended out, I am going to take the wet and wild um powder and i had got the translucent one which i did talk about in my instagram again i feel like i've been so much more active on there and that is just because instagram is a lot easier to post and like do little things on there where like you know it, youtube takes a long time and i don't know i really have been enjoying instagram um and obviously because like I've been so busy with my kids, I, you know, decided to do one one video a week um, on YouTube. And now I've just been really enjoying like doing that extra little time that I do have on Instagram. And then I don't really put it anywhere else because I feel like, I don't know why, I don't want to put a whole bunch of powder, like translucent powder all over my face when I'm going to go over it with bronzer and blush. I want it to still be kind of tacky so my bronzer and blush stick there and not just a translucent. Um, I don't know. I've just been doing it that way recently and I just, I really like it. So that's what I'm going to do. For this look, I don't think cream contour is necessary. I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to literally go in with this and like a hint of that. Um, so this first one, um, Subconscious, and then Shadow Play. Those are the ones that I'm gonna go in with. Um, I feel like Cinderella is very like airy and like, again, natural. I'm not gonna go in with like a super orange um, bronzer or a super like dark bronzer, I guess, if you will. Like, I just feel like the first one's a little bit too cool tone for me and then the second one is a little bit too warm if that makes sense for this look. Let me know down below if you guys are into the holiday spirit. I feel like I wasn't like a huge like holiday spirit person like movies and stuff but obviously once you have kids I feel like that completely changes so we're very into the holiday spirit. We're like watching like all the Halloween movies. Um, the kids are little, so they're kind of like, even though they're like kid movies, they're kind of like scared, if you will, like about them. Like, especially Mateo, Lily's pretty brave. And again, I'm just, now that I have the bronzer placed, obviously I want to set down here. So I'm obviously going to cut it, clean it up, and then I'm just going to let it bake for a little bit. Okay, and obviously this part gets a little bit crazy because I have like my nose contour like baking and stuff like that. Um, but you can do what you want with, you don't have to contour. I feel like modern Cinderella might contour a little bit, she might bake, but totally up to you. Again, I feel like it's gonna look natural because it's not like I went in hardcore on my cheeks. I didn't go crazy here. Like I feel like everything's just with a super light hand and just a little bit less. So I feel like that's like the goal. Here. I don't know if you guys saw my um, testing out new drugstore. I can't even remember the name. I will try and link it up here for you guys somewhere here, here, or down below. Um, it was the one where I tried the e.l.f. palette that had blushes in it. It's a full e.l.f. palette that had blushes, and I was, like, obsessed. I was like, this is, like, my go-to. And ever since that video, I cannot find that dang palette, and I'm so sad because it had such good blushes in there. Um... And then the same thing, I did a look on Instagram where I used like little like uh, jewels or like, I don't know, you know, those like little beads, not beads, they're like little rhinestones that like, you know, you do with your makeup just to make it like pop, do a little extra, like some fun look. I did that on my Instagram and ever since I used those on my on my Instagram, I can't find them. So I've just like, I don't know where my makeup's going. 
I'm trying to find my Kylie Cosmetics um, blush that's like super pinky that I feel like is super like Cinderella um, and I cannot find it. I really don't know. I, I don't know if my kids are taking my makeup. I don't know, but anyways, I'm going to kind of just brush off the sides, not so much like the, the nose part, but just to make sure that there's nothing here. Um, and now I'm going to go with the Hourglass Ambient Diff Lighting Blush. Yeah. And I'm, I just think it's super pretty. It is super pink and it also has like a little glow to it. And I feel like that's so like princess vibes. I don't know. So, and I kind of just get blush on the tip of this like angled brush and just lightly like feather. And I feel like it gives such a pretty look. I don't know why I've just been super obsessed with doing this like this. Yeah, it might take a little bit longer cause you're just like feathering, but, um, I feel like it gives this like pretty, pretty, pretty like blend. I don't know. I've just been doing it recently and I really like it. Um, Cause before I would just like stamp and like blend. And I don't know, I feel like just feathering it with this like tip, this brush, this brush is a tart brush. Um, it just says tart on it. It's like a just angled brush. I don't even know if it's like considered a blush brush, but I really enjoy it. Okay, and then for eyes, it's super simple. Again, I'm just literally going to do, um, I'm going to put some concealer on and then just set my eyes, like just with powder because I'm not putting any um, eyeshadow. If anything, I will run a little bit of bronzer through it just to give my eyes a little bit of like dimension and help because my eyelids are super tiny, but honestly, it's not necessary. Um, I'm just going to do a wing liner and I feel like that is very like Cinderella to me. Um, I don't know. When I think of Cinderella, I think of her with eyeliner. I don't really think of her with eyeshadow. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of powder and just stamp. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with liner and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this um, MAC Cosmetics Liquid Last 24 Hour Waterproof Liner. Now, I talked about this like very briefly in one of my videos where I was testing out makeup that was, or not testing out makeup, but trying makeup that I used to use in high school. I don't even think that was the name of it. Again, I will list it somewhere up here. Um, and I got this and I totally forgot about it during the video. So I, I didn't even use it. And um, I love this. I haven't even used it. I keep forgetting that I bought, I purchased it. Um, but I used to use this all the time in high school. Literally, I think I'm going to do a video where I like literally do my makeup how I did in high school. I don't even want to get into it right now. I'll go off on a tangent. But um, I used this all the time and this stuff does not come off. I would hate when I would use like a a liner, um, like a pencil liner and I would put it on and then like throughout the day, it would like go on top of like my eyelid or just be like smudgy or just everywhere. This stuff did not move. So hard to get off. You literally had to use makeup remover. You obviously you can't use water. It's, it's waterproof. Like it's not supposed to come off. I mean, it would come off with just a tiny bit, you know, like for rubbing your eyes with water and stuff, but like literally so hard to get off. I love this stuff. I'm going to try right now, but honestly, I will tell you, I haven't used a liner like this where it's like a little brush essentially like I've always used like the NYX Epic Ink Liner which is like a liquid pencil so I don't know how good I'm gonna be I might have to like take it off and redo it several times or I might just go back with my NYX I don't know we'll see we'll see how this comes out and again you don't want something dramatic you can if you want it's honestly up to you I'm just explaining to you my like my thought process is like Cinderella is very like natural you know what I mean so you don't want to go in with something you don't want to do it super like bold if you will but of course you totally can okay so i think i did pretty dang good um yeah i think they look fine um and then i'm gonna go in with the smashbox um mascara i forgot i had this one i used to use it all the time in like my videos on instagram when i first started like filming my makeup videos and i forgot how much i freaking love this stuff like it works so dang good it like elongates my lashes it spreads them out and then before i do bottom i am going to add a little bit of bronzer to the bottom because i just you don't want to leave your bottom i, I don't know i feel like it looks like 
weird. Like if you don't um, put something at the bottom, like I don't know why I just feel like it like that. So I'm gonna just gonna take this middle shade again. It's in the shade Shadow Play, and I'm just gonna add that to the bottom. And I've really been enjoying these brushes from Lux, I believe. Um, I got it in my Boxy Charm, and I got this is my second set of brushes from them from my boxy charm and I am like not mad and they were like completely different brushes like complete it wasn't like oh they're kind of the same or anything like no they're completely different they're so good I'm gonna show you guys these brushes really quick because I'm literally so obsessed I think Everything about them is so good. I'm trying to find. So the first set came with three and it was like a foundation brush, a little like blending brush. See, these actually have the name. These are Luxie. Sorry, did I say Lux? Luxie 510 Foundation, Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending. And then this is a tiny one, Luxie 245 Precision Crease Brush. And they're super different. So I use this one to carve my eyebrows and then use this one obviously for eyeshadow. And then I'll use this to like place the foundation, but not to like blend it in. So I really like these. And then these I got recently and they have Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. I have a Luxie 237 for blending, a Luxie 209 for a large shader brush. And then I have this Luxie brow and lash um, spoolie. So I really like that. I really am obsessed with this small one. Again, it is the 237 blending. It is like so light and feathered. Like there's not a lot of like uh, bristles. So like it just blends like so nicely and just like feathers in and just, ugh, I love it. So I highly recommend checking those out. I don't know how much they are like online or whatever, but they're really good. Okay, so I put some eyelashes on. These are like super natural again. I just feel like that's the look that I'm going for, but of course you can do like a super, I almost kind of want to change them like once I'm done because when you do put liner on, especially for my eyes, they're tiny and like the, my eyelids are like are small. I just always have to do like a bold lash when I have liner on. And then for lips, like we're literally almost done. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF and it's like a pinky nude color like more on the nude side like um i don't know how to explain it it's it's pinky but like not super pinky it's just like a nude um and then i'm gonna go in with a pinkier shade because i feel like that's cinderella as well i'm not really into pink for my skin tone and just me i don't really like pink but you can obviously i feel like this is more cinderella but again you could go with any lip color i might change my lip color i don't know um i feel like that's like the fun thing about halloween and just makeup in general you could do whatever you want so i overlined and personal preference i'm just not gonna be a type the type to ever not overline my lips so in with the shade bear from kylie cosmetics and it is super like pinky color for sure it's super pink super pretty um so i'm gonna add that to that pink it's so pretty it's a pretty pink but again i don't wear this a lot i will put this like on the center of my lips and that's pretty much it when i'm wearing it because i don't like super pink pink on me And this is a velvet. I'm sorry. I don't know if I said it was a matte from Kylie, but it's a velvet. Which I like her formula for both. And I feel like she gets hated on a lot for her matte. Or at least she did, especially when they first came out. I feel the problem that people don't... Like, I feel like they just don't know how to use them. And I don't know if she's explained really how I feel like you're supposed to use them. You literally need a tiny bit. If you go in too much with her matte, yeah, it's going to clump up. Yeah, it's going to feel super drying. Like, you literally need to, like, barely wipe it, like, on your lips. And then, like, maybe dab it out or, like, whatever. I can kind of show you guys when I use one of her mattes, like, in another video. But you 
don't need a lot like you don't need to put a whole bunch like at the bottom and a whole bunch at the top i think that's why too you should always use a liner because if you use a liner like i have the shade exposed i believe i'll go in with exposed liner like a lot and then barely need to use the matte lipstick like in the center and that's all you need you don't need a ton of product for her um for her lips but um again it's just personal preference i guess if you want to like cake it on a lot then you might not want to use her her uh matte lipsticks but or matte lip liquid lipstick so i don't know that's just something but um i think this color is super pretty and then for highlight i'm gonna do a tiny tiny bit and i'm not gonna do i'm gonna think i think i'm gonna go in with like all three of these and kind of just blend them in together just like <laughs> just like lightly like just i don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell it's like the tiniest bit <laughs> I meant um, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't know why I said Fix Plus. Okay, I don't know if you guys want to see. I will show you guys once I'm changed. I will show you guys what I got. I'm going to show you guys how I do the hair. Now, I know she has like... Basically, it's all pulled back and it's just a... A bun but I'm not gonna do it like that I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it so first I'm gonna take my hair and put it up in a ponytail like a high ponytail and I forgot my brush over there so my fingernails are gonna have to do and I'm gonna put it in a high ponytail super thick so I had to like tighten it up and stuff how to tighten it up okay so then sorry I'm getting text messages on my phone okay and then you're gonna twirl it into a bun actually no I don't like that hang on and I'm going for like the messy look I'm not going for like perfection or anything so then you're gonna just Get a bobby pin and you're going to just place it on there. Oh god, my hair's so thick right now from braiding it. Like it just makes it more full. Okay. And I'm debating do I want to like leave this out or do I want to pull it all out? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all the way back. Um, so then you're just gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna bobby pin it again. So you're gonna use three bobby pins. And then you're going to take the other side. Again, you could leave like a piece out like if you wanted to do it like that. I think that's super cute too. I just, I'm not gonna do it. Cause then I go back and forth and my hair is like that. I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm like, do I like it like that? Do I not? Kind of just personal preference. Okay. And then you're gonna like spray your baby hairs. I have like the kids spray, it just has water in it. Um, and then you can like do whatever you want to your baby hairs. So I'm gonna do my baby hairs really quick. Again, this could be so much more neater if that's like the look that you're going for. I'm just personally not. Okay, and I'm taking out some hairs. And that's kind of how I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see that, sorry. I didn't even realize. So, that's kind of how I'm doing the bun. You guys can see, like nothing crazy. This is gonna be done once I put the headband on, so it's not gonna look so puffy, which I don't mind either. I think it looks super cute. 
Um, and then also like I'll spray the back and I'll just add a little bit of mousse or hairspray. That way none of the hairs like really fall out or you can even grab this like whatever you have just to like make sure it all stays up. Okay, so I'll be right back with my Halloween look on. Okay, so I, this is the look you guys. Um, I'm just gonna try and fix my hair a little bit. Um, the only thing is I got this dress off Shein so you guys can find this dress on Shein. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. And I got this and this from Amazon. Um, the only thing with this is it's a little bit tight. Um, so I don't know if it was supposed to be for kids or not. This is not really tight at all, but um, it's super cute. Now I got this dress in a small because it says it runs big and I was like, I mean, it's gonna be terrible if like it's too big and it just doesn't look good. But I didn't think if it run too small and it does run a look, I feel like it runs true to size because I'm normally, I mean, I can fluctuate between a small and medium, but the small has to be like running big, you know? So, and it doesn't. Um, so like right here, it doesn't zip all the way, but I think if Chris came in, he could see that he could zip it up for me all the way. It's like literally a tiny, tiny bit, but it is super tight. I think it, I was going for more of a flowy look. Um, but yeah, I think this is super cute and like super fun for Halloween. Um, if you have Halloween parties, I think this and this together was like seven bucks. They came together in a pack and then Sheen is super cheap, but again, they take a while to ship to you. So, um, just think about that if you guys are going to order. Um, and they have other colors or they have other dresses that are like baby, like this baby blue color for like Cinderella. Um, so I, you know, you guys check those out as well. Um, I'm going to like show you guys like the look. I'm going to kind of scoot back so you guys can see. It's like the dress and then again, like it's not zipping up all the way. Like I know I could have Chris like zip it up. Um, it's not a problem, but if you guys can like see that. But yeah, I think it's like super cute, like super like, I mean, pretty flattering, I guess. Again, I'm not really a small, but um, I think it's super cute. And then like some black heels or something. I mean, I don't have like the gloss slippers or whatever, but it's super cute. Oh okay, yeah, guys, this is the completed look. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe before you go. I really, really appreciate it. Um, comment down below what you guys want to see next. What was your favorite Halloween look to see? Um, I know I always watch Nikki tutorials, which I think I said that on my Instagram. I love her Halloween looks. Like they're very like detailed where I feel like this is super simple and easy. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.